in the two hours that I had to sit in the room and wait after we got done for pictures, um, that made me a little nervous just because a little confined. Really not nervous though. Um, the only time I really got nervous was after all of the bridesmaids had gone out to get ready to walk into the church and I was standing in the nursery by myself and it just seemed like it took forever and I thought maybe he changed his mind <laughs> and so I, that's the only time that I really got nervous but then dad opened the door and it was time to go. It was pretty cool because she had hidden her dress from me and what she had picked out and hadn't seen her all day so it was just a it was a really great moment. She looked really beautiful and yeah, it made me smile. I didn't cry though. He um, had this big grin on his face and he watched me walk all the way up the aisle and so it was just this happiness to see him. Brett and Jeremy come with me with a really serious look on their face and they and they say to me, you know, if if you fall, um, we're the smallest two up here. And there's candles and fire and glass right behind us, so we could be in a bad way. So don't lock your knees. <laughs> so I thought that was a pretty I thought that was a pretty funny um, tension easing moment. But it could have been bad. It could have been bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was such a blessing. Um, at one point, Pastor Doug leaned over to me and said, Megan, just listen. And to hear that many voices in um, the auditorium just singing praise to God was just amazing for me. I finally looked out into the auditorium and saw all of the friends and family there. And just, it was just amazing to see everyone there and, and just realize, you know, how many people have had an influence and an effect in your life. Um, it was just amazing. Do you, Justin, before God and these witnesses publicly affirm your faith in Jesus Christ as the Son of God, as well as your own personal Savior? Do you express the desire that your life and the home that you are about to establish shall be a testimony for Him? Do you take Megan to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together according to the Word of God? Will you love her, cherish her, assist and support her in all the labors of life, in sickness and in health, in, ver in adversity and prosperity, and keep yourself to her only as long as you both shall live? Right above where the unity candle table was is a vent and it was blowing air down on the platform. When we went to light the unity candle, it wouldn't light. And I kept thinking, oh, please just light, please just light. And then, um, and then it finally did. I had a lot of people ask me, um, what do you think it's gonna be like? Or why are you having your first kiss in front of all those people? Are, are you nervous about that? And I just really wasn't. 